two, one. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday School. Stuff is a little bit different in Sunday School today, isn't it? So what's different? You're right. I'm here in a regular Sunday School room with our little altar and all our stuff, but you're at home. You know what's the same about Sunday School today? Everything else. We're going to do our offering, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer, we'll sing a song, we're going to hear our story, and we're going to do a neat craft project. And you know what the most important thing that's the very same today? Is that God loves us, whether we're at home or we're in the Sunday school room. And that we're all connected because we're all part of God's family. So, welcome to Sunday School, and I'm glad we're all part of God's family. So let's start, as we always do, with our offering. And you guys are going to be surprised because I actually remembered to bring some money today. And I'm going to put it in our basket. And I have a few other things for offering today, too. While we're all staying at home, we're doing a special offering at church. We're going to donate food like cereal and peanut butter and that looks like fruit or vegetables and some rice aroni. So you might want to talk to your mom and dad about if you want to offer some money or some food. You can donate these things to your school's pantry or you can bring donations to the church and we'll give them away to schools. So that's our offering for today. Let's say a blessing. Dear God, may we be good followers of Jesus. May we share, may we be kind, may we take care of each other. Amen. Amen. How about now if we do our Lord's Prayer? Here's our regular poster and everything. Ready? Say it with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, it's time for our story. And we have a special treat today. Guess who's going to be our Sunday School helper and read our story? Hi! It's Pastor Lynn! I get to read the story today, so I'm going to sit right here in the storytelling chair and, and read the story about the disciples. If you have one of these Bibles at home, and, and you can turn to page 258, you can read along or you can at least look at the pictures. So this is a story about the disciples. Jesus told everyone he met, repent, stop the bad things you are doing and start doing good. One day, Jesus was at the seashore and a crowd gathered to listen to hear what he had to say. Jesus hopped onto a fishing boat so more people could see and hear him. <coughs> Thanks for letting me use your boat, Jesus said. Then he said to the fishing brothers Simon and Andrew, I want to thank you with lots of fish. Throw out your nets. We'll try, they sighed. Simon and Andrew put their nets into the water. But we fished all night and caught absolutely nothing, they explained to Jesus. Suddenly, they felt their nets tug. They were overflowing with fish. Rip, pop, snap. The nets were so full that they were breaking. The brothers pulled in so many fish that their boat started to sink. Help, they called to their friends in another boat. We have too many fish. James and John rushed to their rescue. 
the weight of the fish almost took their boat under two. They knew that their new friend Jesus must be someone special. He was the one who told them to catch those fish. Hey, Simon and Andrew. Hey, James and John. Follow me, Jesus called to them. Let's catch people instead of fish. Splash! The two sets of brothers dropped their nets into the sea. They were not fishermen anymore. Now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. Jesus met a tax collector at his office. Hey, Matthew! Follow me, Jesus called. Let's collect people instead of money. Clink! Matthew the tax collector dropped his coins to the ground. He was not a tax collector anymore. Now he was a disciple. Now he would follow Jesus. Jesus met seven others that day. Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Thaddeus, another Simon, and Judas. Follow me, Jesus said to each of them. Crash, boing, boom. They all stopped and dropped what they were doing. Now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. Jesus and his 12 friends, the disciples, shared the workload with many other followers, including Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna. No matter where he went, Jesus called for men and women, boys and girls, to drop what they were doing and follow him. And that is our story for today. Thank you for letting me read it to you. Thank you, Pastor Lynn. That was great, wasn't it? We've heard that story before, haven't we? So that's a story about the disciples. And do you remember what disciples are? That's right. They're followers of Jesus. And some of the disciples were fishermen, weren't they? And Jesus asked the fishermen to drop their nets and stop catching fish. What did he want them to catch instead? He said, let's fish for people. So today, we're going to make a fish to help us remember that we're going to fish for people. Here are the things you're going to need. You need a paper bag. You need some newspaper or other old sorts of paper. You need markers or crayons, and, oops, I forgot to bring it over. You need yarn or string. <laughs> here's yarn, here's string. If you don't have yarn or string, tape will work. What you're going to do is decorate your paper bag while it's flat. See on the bottom, draw a nice happy fishy face. And then decorate the side, and make sure you decorate both sides. See, my fish has some gills and a funny fin and some spots. And on the side that has the bottom, make sure you flip this over and decorate underneath, because I forgot to do that, and now there's a blank spot. Once your fish is decorated, open him up. Just like that. Then, you want to take your piece of paper and crunch it up and put it inside. It might take two pieces of paper, depending on how fat you want your fish to be. You want to make sure you leave some space at the end because you're going to squish him together to make what? A tail. And you can either tie that with string or have some, uh, have your grown-up help you put some tape around that to hold that in place. 
I have samples with both ways to do it. Here's one. It's my rainbow trout. See its stripes? He's got a tapey tail. And here's another guy with a little bit of yarn to hold his tail still. Once you get your fish made, you might want to decorate the top and the bottom a little bit too with a marker, because that's going to be plain from the way we decorated it. Once they're all done, I want you to take your fish and swim your fish around the house. Bloop, bloop. I'm fishing for people. We're disciples who fish for people. So, let's remember that as disciples, we fish for people as followers of Jesus. So now that your craft is done and your fish is ready to swim around the house, let's sing one more song. Oh, we didn't sing our disciple song yet. Let's let that be our song. I've got the words right here, and Pastor Lynn is going to sing with us too. Are we ready? One, two, ready, go. Come learn about following Jesus. Come follow Jesus with me. Cause when I am following Jesus, a disciple is what I will be. Follow, follow, come be a disciple with me, with me. Follow, follow, come be a disciple with me. Excellent! That is a fun song, and we'll sing it again next week. So, we're all finished with Sunday School for today, so let's say one more prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Help us to be good disciples. Help us to be good disciples. Help us to be good followers of Jesus. Help us to be good followers of Jesus. Help us to be kind. Help us to be kind. Help us to share. Help us to share. And help us to take care of each other. And help us to take care of each other. Amen. Amen. Have a good week. Make sure you wash your hands. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.